Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are at Orchard Lake Country Club. Once again, my nightmare being here, but it's for a great cause, Valiant. Getting the boys paid. Uh, How's it feel, dude, to be making money in college right now? It's great. You know, like, I always say, like, imagine, like, Denar Robinson cover the uh, NCAA you know what I'm saying? No question. And he would have he would have been making so much bank. Yeah. You know, you be you be making a lot of bank off of your jersey, nah, you know. I don't think that would have made money. I, like I, that. I believe I believe so. Yeah. Popular name, good looking dude, minus a tattoo. What a guy. Like a thug, you don't you know? like these things? <laughs> you don't what like I the look, tattoos? What I look like you then. you know what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a uh a robber, dog. A robber. <laughs> That's thug. crazy. Yeah. That is wild. That's crazy. That is wild. But you're, but you're not a tattoo guy. No, nah, I mean. Just not for it, you? Keep it normal, you know? Yeah. Keep it normal? Keep it normal. I'll tell you, well, what's your biggest reason for not wanting a tattoo? I mean, I think, like, my dad has always, like, pursued me not to get tattoos. You know, he always, like, made me, like, not want to go out, you know? He always, like, scared me into those things, so... I just just don't want to, I just don't want to get the ink to the body, you know. Uh, yeah. Then I get addictive and I look and I say I, I get like this. I got, yeah. the legs. My damn hey, my hey, I'm, I'm gonna keep looking like a robber because I'm not done yet, man. You know? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to catch up to him. Hey, I got a whole bunch of stuff in my torso now too. I'm going wild I, I out saw, here. I saw. You got like a deer head on. I don't know if you see. Yeah, it it's like a stag. I've never shot a deer in my life, but I have a stag on my that's, chest. That's crazy. Like, what does that even mean? Nothing. Man? It means just nothing. Have a deer I have three tattoos that have any meaning at all, and one was a girl I proposed to in high school. And we obviously didn't get married. <laughs> so that happened. That's the kind of mistakes you make when you're getting tattoos. I'm happy that that's good for you, dude. I love it, dude. I'm, I love I'm happy. Especially shitty tattoos. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Shitty tattoos, like, you you like those. Yeah. It's nice to have a couple of those. Yeah. <laughs> right on. You the got a couple that you, regret, you regret, don't regret you? It, huh? uh, do I have any I regret? They, they were well thought out. I'm not going to say I have any I regret yet. Yeah? They, they, yeah. Were, they were well thought out. Is there any, uh, do all of them have meaning? They do. Even the tiger? I had the tiger, you know, I like the song, you know. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I should have introduced these boys to you. Donovan yeah. Edwards, Blake Corum, maybe the best running back duo. Maybe. maybe. Boys, I'm trying to be, I, I got a, a lot of demographic. Right, we got the I, Southeast that's, involved that's, too. That's okay. cool. I'll be the first to say it. he'll agree. How are we How are we not the best in what we both rush for more than anybody else as a duo in the country? Come on. Hey, this is, Come the, on, this is the boys. Yeah, and we're going to speak it, you know. Like we're not going to we keep be it real. We're going to state the facts. We're not going to be apologetic either. Like let's speak the facts. If we had the same conversation last year, what does that mean going into next year with the same with the same two players? Okay then. <laughs> he said okay then. Is that a big reason why you want to come back? Oh, yeah, there's there's a lot of reasons I want to come back, but this is this is definitely one of them. Yeah. What what are the main reasons why you decided? I'm the not main go reasons, to the NFL? you know, I tell everyone, you know, the NFL is not going anywhere. And as you can see right now with the RB market, you know, it's it's not good. You know what I'm saying? But that, that wasn't even a reason anyways. But, you know, the team coming back, the team, man, like majority of everyone's coming back. You know, you only get college once, you know, and I don't want to have any regrets. Going out, Illinois game, like going into the game, that was my last game. Donovan knew, like. That was my last game. I can't go out like that. Yeah. You know, I last can't. Last game in the big house. Last game, I can't go out like that, you know. And then the, everyone's coming back. You know, we, we have a chance at the, you know, the, the the big thing. Yeah. You know, the thing that, you know, we'll be remembered as. Hey, you don't know be what afraid saying? to speak it. We're talking about a national you know, championship We're, we're right talking now. about a national championship. You know, I just try. I like being where my feet are, but we're talking yeah. about the natty. That's I'll like talk that. about it for you guys. Because low-key, I was kind of a hater back in 2020 when everything hold was on, going on. the way we it was. Hold it, like, we hold, it like hold it however you want. You can hold, hold like this, that, hold like this, that. as long as that thing close up to the lips. All right. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. <laughs> so you, you look like, you know, you're the professional. I'm going to hold it like this. Yeah, hold it however like, you, you want, man. This is your pod. Yeah, no you're doubt. You're doing whatever you want. And no the doubt. energy you guys are coming with is fucking exactly what I need right now. Because, like, I played 09-13. Mm -hmm. We were fucking garbage, dude. We were absolutely fucking terrible. Like, there's nothing to look back and go, yeah, Sugar Bowl victory against Virginia Tech. No one gives a shit about that. Right, right. You guys are back-to-back -back Big Ten championships going to the playoffs. Let's talk about TCU. Mm -hmm. Like, what is... What happened? Obviously, you're on the sidelines being a hell of a cheerleader, by yeah. the way, and that's no disrespect. Uh, like, you did a great it. job. Thank you. I saw you. I was over there doing the mega cast. I saw yeah, the energy. Yeah. You're great. The boy was balling first play of the game, Ooh. right up the middle. Well, One 25. of the boys told me before the game, that's what you guys are going to do. Uh huh. I was on that mega cast. Like, I think if they're if Michigan is who they want to be, they're going to go right up the middle of this first play. You yeah. <laughs> Come on. Got your ass out, dude. Come on. I mean, when you, after that run, you got to be thinking, it's a wrap. 
Of, of, I mean, of so course. I thought it was. What's for, that? Uh, oh, of, we I mean, all of thought course, it was. Of course. I thought, I thought TCU, there's no way. There's I think, no like, if we, if we, if I scored that first play, which, you know, the safety got me in. Come on, Ronnie, I need a block, man. Oh. I need, uh, Ronnie, I need, I need you to touch him, Ronnie. You know, I, need, oh. I, need, I, need, I need a touch. But yeah. I think, like, if we scored that first play, or at least we got three points, you know, we would have had, uh, know, we we had, had more fourth confidence. Down, right? You run the uh, Philly special. Yeah, I think we would have more confidence, like, going into the game more. It's just like, we don't, I don't score, we don't score, or let me not say just I, but we don't score that first drive. You know, it's kind of a, a confidence killer. You know, yeah. when you come out the play, if you come out the game with like a fifty yard, a fifty yard run, you get nothing out of it. It's like, dog, what, what what are we doing? Yeah. So, but I mean, as, as well, like TCU had a really good, a really good game plan. You know, they run a three three five. You know, they're like with the five DBs. You know, like their their main goal is to stop the run. You know, like which they had like seven to eight people in a box every time. Yeah, and that's every well, game. And as every well, game, and as game. well, like you got five DBs that's dropping too, like which like we were able to like get the we were able to get our receivers over over top of them and beat them. But you know, like we, it, it got to be a balance, you know. Like we got to have the run game and the pass game going yeah. at the same time. But like it wasn't one. It was either one or the other wasn't there at that point of game. So yeah. that's what kind of hurt us. It seemed like, and this is like not a, not a shot. It's more like. A silver lining is it felt more that you guys lost that game more than TCU won that game, and that's a good thing because like, you know, we go into Georgia two years ago. Yeah, that team was uh, stacked. Dude. They had yeah. what Eight nine first, first round yeah, picks and defense. Every, every like, player on that defense. Yeah, got they were. They, you look at that, and it's unfortunate to say, but they were a better team at that point. Yeah, TCU. Yeah, 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 you guys match up against them. Like you got to almost feel like an electric amount of confidence. What's up, boy? Arky? How we doing, babe? Up, you all right? Baby. Good to see you. You all right? Thanks, brother. No, hey, language is much appreciated here on this podcast. You don't worry. You guys don't have to share that mic, unfortunately. Yeah, for sure. You know, budgetary restraints on busting with the boys. We have a lot of shit we got to pay for around here. I try to pay my boys well. Yeah, yeah. But you guys go into that game, and we have two pick sixes. We have the, the, the exchange between the two of you, correct? Was that you? No. Nah, Who was that? Khalil. Khalil? Mullings, yeah. yeah the, the exchange, like those... Then you had the Roman, the Roman touchdown, Dude, which was a touchdown too. I was right there in that end zone, and you could see he's like kind of fumbling the ball as he's hitting the ground, and then he rolls in and gets, he completes the catch. Shoulder and ball are hell in of the a throw, line. by the way. That was a hell of a throw. It was like, uh, it was one of those games as a fan you just watch like, fuck, dude, if we could just had that back because Georgia was not the team they were the year before. You saw what Ohio State did to them. Ohio State, they can't yeah. touch you guys right now. But it's got to, you got to be breeding a lot of confidence going into this one. Oh. Confidence is through the roof. Yeah. You know, the way we've been working this offseason, man, the way the team is, the camaraderie. Yeah. We're on a whole nother level right now. And going Jay into camp tomorrow is going to be crazy. Camp's tomorrow? Tomorrow. Man, if I were you guys, I would not be here right now. <laughs> I would be <laughs> resting, playing the game, just getting ready to go. But I love it that you guys are here. Uh, JJ, what are your takeaways from that game, that last game last year, and how um, you're growing into this season? I mean... My takeaways from that game. Make sure that mic's up to your lips. My takeaway from that game is obviously we talked about it. It was just felt like, you know, no matter what we were doing, stuff was going wrong. Mm -hmm. Like you have that in football games. You have that in any uh, competitive sport. But I felt like the amount of motivation and drive that it gave us after that game is something that I will always be grateful for because you could go into an off season where you get – some sort of complacency, some sort of like accomplishment. We've done something, but that game really jump started just like the unfinished business, like Blake was talking about, and that just day to day effort to get back to that spot and ultimately push through. Is that a reason why you guys have impl implemented the Beat Georgia part of your camp? Yeah, I could say that, but it, there's definitely more factors. It just adds on to the you know mindset of if we want to be the best, we got to beat the best. Yeah. So. Yeah, I love that to dude. Beat the man, you gotta beat the man. No yeah, question. Exactly. I like that. I would. I wish you had the microphone in your hand when you said that. But yeah, <laughs> to beat a man, you have to beat the man. Speaking of the man, dude, or was the man Ohio State? Now we've we've beat them a couple times. Beat them at their house first time in 20 years. I say we like I'm actually a part of the team right now. But you, I mean you, you part do, of the family. How do you we feel? Like how do we feel the confidence? It's back in Ann Arbor this year. Ryan Day, great dude. We were actually in Columbus for the. All the on your birthday, yeah. Wow. <laughs> We're in, hey. <laughs> I was at I was at uh, Columbus during the spring football tour, and Ryan Day was there. He was a good dude. 
Guys were really nice there. But there's a level of anger that, you know, they, they thought they had it and they've gotten it taken away from them. Is there, you know, that kind of pressure now on this game for you guys? Or are we looking more forward to national championships? Well, <laughs> See, like, my opinion is always got to start with just step by step, brick by brick. And they're the first, well, I'd say Michigan State, Penn State, and then they're in the way to our ultimate goal. So I feel like we're not sitting there thinking that we're 2-0 and against them. It's always we're hunting them, always. We're never going to feel like we're hunted by them. Mm -hmm. So it's always just chasing them no matter what it is and just doing what we've been continuing to do. Yeah. Yeah. There's got to be a level of confidence, though, the way you guys were running the ball against them. It was back and forth in the first half, dude. But literally, was that the same play, both those breaks late in the fourth? Uh, back to back. It was like two, two, yeah, two plays, had, three plays after. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it, 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 like how we were talking about uh, before, like, like they're respecting the run game so much, and that gives our quarterback, that gives JJ opportunity to start throwing that thing, you mm -hmm. know? And it's like once you start respecting the run, you start respecting the throw game, you got to start respecting the run game. Yeah. So it's like you really can't stop both, you know? Yeah. Like you really got to, like, find, like, a perfect balance between, like, how do we stop the pass or, like, if they want to run the ball, how do they stop the run, you know? Or if it's like we want to run the ball, how do we stop the pass? Because we could do both, you know? Yeah. Like we're, we're hella dynamic in doing both of those things. So it's like, what are you going to do to, like, stop either one of those, you know? Right. It's like a give, and, a give and take, you know? Like, me me and BC, you know, like, as as soon as, like, JJ start clicking, it started, as soon as he's throwing four touchdowns, 200-plus yards, you got to stop the run game, you yeah, know? And, you like, can't you're put gonna, a man in the gonna, box now. No, you can't. And then, like, those run, those baker, breakaway runs is going to start happening. Mm -hmm. Like, what was, your, what was your mindset after, like, Illinois game happens, you get hurt? talking about a Heisman and all that, like where, where did your head go it once went, that happened? It went so many places, dude. Like places I didn't even think I could go to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To like, like mentally, you know, like when it first happened, I was, I was good. Yeah. You know, and I was good until I had surgery. I went out to Cali, had surgery. And I was watching uh, the Big Ten Championship on the TV. And that's where I like, you know, everyone said, you know, don't feel bad for yourself. But I started feeling bad, like, damn, yeah. like, for myself and then for my team, because I want to be out there helping them, you know? So all these emotions were just going through my head, you know? And then finally, you know, I, I drove to the uh, Arizona because I was in Cali. Yeah. So I drove to the game. Then I had a TCU game. So many emotions were going through my head, man. Should I go to the draft? Should I come back? Then I'm like, damn, like, I'm really on crutches for six weeks, like. And then I had to get myself out of it. You know, yeah. I got to a point where, like, you know, me, I work out every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm always in the gym. Like, you know, hard work's never going to be questioned. Yeah. You know, and I had to pull myself out of that because I didn't want to do nothing. You know, for, for a little while, I'm like, I don't feel like doing nothing, man. My upper body wasn't, wasn't hurt. You know, I could still bench whatever you wanted me to do, you know, but I didn't want to even want to go to the gym. And I finally got myself out of that hole, and that's all she wrote, man. What would you attribute that getting yourself out of that hole? Because being a guy who's had a torn ACL before, there is like a level of feeling invincible, and then you get hurt, and you're like, oh, shit, I'm a human. Like, yeah. I, I like I didn't even know this was possible. Like, I didn't know you could literally get hurt playing football until I was in college, and I saw somebody break their ankle. Right. I was like, oh, shit, you can get hurt doing this? That's right. wild. And then, you know, it is like you said, like, you can lift upper, but, like, you're kind of sad. You're just sad. Yeah, Low key, like, you're just like, man, is anything ever going to get better? Like, what would you attribute you breaking that, you know, low-key depression as you're watching your boys, TCU, obviously sitting there going, if I was playing, because that's how we all are. We have to have, like, a level of delusion in our head. Like, mm -hmm. if I was just there, we would have won this game or, or mm -hmm. whatever. Like, how do you go from that off-season starts and there's not a whole lot you can do? Like, what was, like, that little piece that helped you turn the page? I mean, really, uh, for me, so I would go work out. Like, all right, hey, I'm getting myself out of this hole. You know, yeah. we'll just call it a hole. And I go work out for two days, and then I fall back into the hole. Yeah. You know, and I go three days without lifting. And it was really just like me sitting in bed one night, like, come on, Blake, like, you know, like this is something small. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're really stressing and, and emotional over something small. And, and at the time, you don't realize it. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's something small. Like, you know, I, I try to think like a bigger picture, I try to put myself in other people's shoes. It could be way worse, man. Like, I'm really out here living a dream. You know, I really try to think like that, and sometimes it's hard. But I started thinking, like, I'm out here 
doing what a thousand other kids wish they could do. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And uh, that's when I finally just flipped the switch, became the old Blake again, and just attacked everything. You know, the rehab, you know, the workouts, you know, what I, what I could do, I did, you know, and more, you know. So it was really just trying to put myself in other people's shoes and realize, like, meniscus repair, like, come on. You know, this ain't going to set you back forever. But it took me to a place where, you know, I've been playing ball since five or six, like a lot of us. And it took me to a place I ain't never been, bro. Yeah. Donovan, when you were sitting there, I mean, back not backing up, but you're, you're sharing time with Blake. And then Illinois happens. And it's really your time to shine. You have the game you did against Ohio State. Like, you had to be thinking, like, although it's one of your man's, fa- like, he's fallen yeah. in the situation. Like, what an opportunity for you. <sighs> I, I hear you. Uh, it's, it's I think that a... no, nah, I think like my thing is like he knows too. Is like Coach Hart does like a, a such a tremendous job of like preparing us as like if like if one man goes down, the next man has to step up. You know, it was like times during the season where like I was hurt like off of my torn patella tendon, where he had to get like thirty carries a game. You know, like we don't want him to get thirty carries a game because cause, like those things add up, but like he can do it. You know. And like when he w- went down against, when he went down at, in Illinois, you know, like I was, I had a broken thumb the the previous week versus Nebraska, and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like, how am I going to be able to like carry the load, you know, like just like with one hand, you know? But I I got back to myself how he was talking about reverting back to my old ways, cause like I had dislocated my thumb in a playoff game or going into a playoff game, I dislocated in practice. And I'm like, this is something like I'm used to, you know, like I always go through adversity and I will always rise, rise from it. So that's kind of like what was going on through me. Like, you know, like I hate to see him go down, but like, you know, like somebody has to step up. Somebody, you know? and he, he sure did, man. Hey, he stepped up. <laughs> he stepped up. <laughs> big time, off. boy. Yeah. Did you, what, what were you thinking? Because obviously Blake was such a big piece of your offense. Was there any waiver at all in confidence in the team? Um, I mean, obviously, like, just the whole morale, energy of the offense goes down a little bit because yeah. he's one of our best leaders on the team, best players on the team. Obviously, when someone like that goes out, there's going to be a little bit of a drop in some way. Mm-hmm. But like Donovan said, it's it's next man up mentality in this game and this league. And it's just it, it is what it is. And you got to keep pushing and moving forward because at the end of the day, no matter who it is, it's all for the team. Like, we're all putting towards one goal, one mission as one, and Blake will say the same thing. Like, that's what he wants out of all of us. If he goes down, and if I went down, I would want the same thing. So, yeah. just next man up. Donovan, you brought up a, a team that you dislocated your thumb against, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Now the most <laughs> prestigious football uh, trophy no, game I, in college football. I, I, start, I broke it. Well, you sorry, you broke it. There Not we go. dislocated, you there broke it. There we go. The most prestigious trophy game in college football is going to happen in Lincoln, Nebraska, the Bustin Bowl. That's right. It sits I'm glad here we in Ann Arbor. That back. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Brought that back. You, you started it. We that was the first it. game last we got year. It. By 31 points, by the way, if you guys weren't keeping score, like well. they covered. If you guys were wondering, <laughs> yeah, we said, well, how do we? Uh, what does that game mean to you guys? How important is that game to win? I mean, it's important for us, you know, because y'all started it, so it's like. We got we got to keep the tradition here in Ann Arbor, you know. Yeah, dude. Fuck we yeah. We got to keep we got to keep it here. Yeah. Yeah. It means more than Paul Bunyan, doesn't it? Just I, say I yes. Just say yes. We know you're lying. Just <laughs> yes. say yes. Dude. Yes. Because it started by it's a Michigan import- man. Is it more important than Paul Bunyan? <laughs> I'm gonna say no yes. No comment. <laughs> more important than, you know. I mean, as of important as all of them, but it's just got as a little important. bit there just because it's yours. Yeah. It. Just because it's short. Just because it's short. It's up there, though. Hey, dude, don't get it wrong. I mean, it's a hell of a trophy, too. It, it is you a hell of a trophy. You got to hold that thing. Yeah. It, don't give oh, it. That was don't, a beautiful day. Please, please believe it. it we, we, we see it, you know? Yeah. Please believe we see it. It's in the trophy case, right? Yeah, that's right. Dog. <laughs> now we need Nebraska to sign off to make it official. They were scared. During the game, they called us or... Was it Abloff? They called somebody at Michigan. They're like, hey, we don't want a presentation of the game. We did not agree to this yet. No way. <laughs> no doubt. So we just put that thing, we put that thing in the locker room. It's there. This year we got to get signed off on. Oh, it's yeah. there. It's, what, oh, yeah. We got to get signed in off. in Lincoln? Ooh, that would be Yeah, crazy. dude. Yeah. Have Bro, you played there? You play in Lincoln? Yeah. That, that was, place is amazing. Dude, they have it is unreal amazing. fans. Yeah. It is amazing. Still the most probably college football atmosphere i've been in on the road of yeah. course big house all Bro, the way but what like, and they're so nice energy. They're exactly nice. they're yeah. nice as hell hey great job they just love ball they just love you're ball. stop it bro they're, 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 stop they're it. nice they're nice fans don't get it wrong he's lying you know, 
I eat a little corn. Yeah. It's one and, of the main parts of your diet. And middle fingers just started yeah. flying. Uh, but, uh, but great uh, people. Uh, uh, after the game, though, a great game, you know. Yeah. Well, in the midst of, you know, it was a tough game when we played them. In the midst of it, you know, uh, they have like a cage below, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And people were just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. It's all fun hey, that's got to be an amazing feeling when another fan base hates you. <laughs> that's great. the best feeling. You did yeah. something. I, I don't think the hate's deep, though. I, I think it was just. No, I mean, it is now there's a trophy game. This, the roots are deep. Oh, it's, it's deep one now. year deep. And now it is. Yeah, 365 days. It's hard to get past a bigger tradition <laughs> than that. That's pretty but, uh, but Lincoln, man, it, it, it rocks, man. That, yeah. that field was shaking. Yeah, it was. It the, was uh, we're going we're gonna to wrap it up because we do have to, we guys have to go golf. However, there's one more question. Blake, last time you were on this podcast, <laughs> we had a conversation. And unfortunately, I know you lied. Uh, I lied. I know you lied. Meat peaking. <laughs> Meat peaking, my friend. Oh, Listen, we all got peripheral. You don't have that kind of vision from the backfield, not seeing <laughs> holes. You, you walk in the shower, <laughs> brother, you're not the tallest guy in the world. You're seeing all those things. <laughs> I just need you to admit to the people. That I'm a meat peaker. Not a meat peaker, but maybe, hey, you've seen them. Have I? They're out there. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I, got, I got tunnel vision, man. Yeah, got tunnel, yeah, I got vision. tunnel vision. That's the worst quality to have in a back. <laughs> hey, look, I, They're out I there, must be brother. doing something right there. They're out there. <laughs> must be doing something <laughs> right. Boys, I appreciate the hell of you guys no, coming on. I appreciate on. it too, man. Camp tomorrow, 2023 National Champions. I'm talking to you right now, boys. Put that in the bank. We'll see you later.